Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we are talking about Top 10 Hydrogen Stocks for 2023 According to the Department of Energy, hydrogen can be produced from diverse, domestic resources. Currently, most hydrogen is produced from fossil fuels, specifically natural gas. Electricity is also currently used to produce hydrogen. In the longer term, solar energy and biomass can be used more directly to generate hydrogen. We mostly rely on gray hydrogen, which is produced from natural gas. On the other hand, when Wall Street refers to green hydrogen, it means that the hydrogen has been produced in a carbon-neutral manner. More nations have been committing to achieve net zero emission levels by 2050, but analysts suggest the pace is not fast enough. According to the International Energy Agency, IEA, yearly spending should triple to $4 trillion by 2030, in order to achieve net zero by 2050 goal. Therefore, hydrogen is a potential green alternative to conventional fuels. Recent metrics suggest by 2030, the global green hydrogen market could approach $90 billion. Please help us grow our channel by typing the word subscribed in the comment section below. Number 1. Toyo Engineering, 6330. The traditional way to produce hydrogen is steam reforming, where hydrocarbons react with water. Japanese firm Toyo Engineering has experience in the field of designing, licensing, and constructing steam reformers. Its activities account for more than 10% of the hydrogen produced globally. Technology developed and used by the company is said to improve the thermal efficiency of the process, and this brings with it environmental and economic benefits. Number 2 ITM Power, ITM. Another method of producing hydrogen is electrolysis, which requires electricity and is more expensive than steam reforming, but could become cheaper over time as technologies advance and scale. This, in turn, may make electrolysis-based hydrogen production more competitive. ITM Power, a leading electrolyzer manufacturer, is aiming to reduce the cost of its electrolyzers by 40% over the next few years. Its existing customers and partners include transport company National Express, business group Sumitomo, carmaker Toyota, and mining business Anglo-American. Number 3 Lind, Lin. Germany-based gas and engineering company Lind is considered to be one of the leaders at the forefront of the transition to hydrogen. Lind has built and installed more than 200 hydrogen electrolysis plants and hydrogen refueling stations and has the largest liquid hydrogen capacity and distribution system globally. At the beginning of 2021, Lind announced the world's largest PEM, proton exchange membrane electrolyzer plant, which will go into production in the second half of 2022. The electrolyzer itself will be built by ITM Power as part of a joint venture between the two companies. Number 4 Cummins, CMI. A leader in natural gas and battery technologies, Cummins announced in May 2021 that it would be supplying one of the world's largest electrolyzers to Spain. It's a joint venture between itself and Iberdrola to lead the hydrogen value chain in both the country and Portugal, and to scale up hydrogen production efforts in the region. Cummins also continues to grow its capabilities to support the whole hydrogen economy and uses fuel cell technologies to power several applications, including buses and trucks. At the end of 2019, Cummins acquired Hydrogenix to extend its capabilities in hydrogen fuel cells and develop new production technologies. Number 5 Powerhouse Energy Group, Fee. Though not as scalable a process, recycling waste products into green energy is gaining traction. Powerhouse Energy Group has developed proprietary technology that can take plastic, tires and other waste streams destined for landfills and convert them into hydrogen-based synthetic gases. In August 2021, the company announced it had signed an agreement with Hydrogen Utopia for the use of its technology in Poland, Greece and Hungary. Powerhouse Energy Group also has an agreement with Peel NRE to establish 11 waste to hydrogen plants across the UK over the next few years, with the option of exclusive rights for 70 facilities in total. Number 6 DuPont de Nemours, DD. The Fortune 500 listed company is best known for its agricultural products and work with chemicals, but it has played a pivotal part in the hydrogen industry, too. It produces PEM fuel cells, which are key to helping electrolyzers keep hydrogen and oxygen apart during the separation process. 
DuPont de Nemours first entered the fuel cell market back in 2001. Number 7 Bloom Energy B. Unlike standard PEM electrolyzers, those manufactured by Bloom Energy and unveiled in July can leverage both electricity and heat to produce hydrogen. When the two are integrated, the technology can use up to 45% less electricity than standard PEM electrolyzers. And because it operates at high temperatures, it requires less energy to convert the water molecules into hydrogen. Bloom Energy is better known as a solid oxide fuel cell, SOFC solutions provider. One of the company's goals is to decarbonize the marine industry and use its fuel cell server to power engineless tankers and ships. Number 8 Series Power Holdings, CWR. Fuel cell provider Series has a long-standing partnership with South Korean giant Doosan to manufacture fuel cell stacks and develop applications for the Series' SOFCs, the Asian nation's goal is to power 10% of its cities with hydrogen by the end of the decade, rising to 30% by 2040. In March 2021, Doosan announced it would be expanding into the marine industry, working with Hyundai's Korea Shipbuilding and Offshore Engineering Arm to develop a SOFC-based system for hydrogen propulsion and power generation that will utilize Ceres's technology. Number 9 AFC Energy, AFC. The true cost of powering data centers is staggering, their carbon footprint accounts for over 2% of all global emissions, a figure which is expected to rise to 3.2% by 2025. This is why AFC Energy is looking to apply its alkaline fuel cell technology to address the challenge. Working with Swedish-Swiss firm AB, AFC Energy plans to integrate its fuel cells into the latter's data center portfolio. The testing phase will use real-time data center simulation techniques to make future power designs more sustainable and carbon neutral to reduce running costs. Number 10 Plug Power, Plug. As one of the leading US developers of hydrogen fuel cell technology, Plug Power supplies fuel cells for forklifts handling products and materials to some of the county's biggest companies, including Walmart and Home Depot. At the end of 2020, Plug Power announced a gigafactory to build PEM fuel cell stacks and electrolyzers to enable it to accelerate its manufacturing capacity. It has tapped David Mindnick, who headed operations at Tesla's gigafactory, as executive vice president of global manufacturing with the role of modernizing and influencing its gigafactory. The fuel cell technologies developed by Plug Power also support data centers and fleets. There are various companies, big and small, working on hydrogen technologies, from hydrogen fuel cells and cars that run on them to companies that produce hydrogen. The allure of trading and investing in these stocks is in their growth potential over the long term. If hydrogen gains traction as an alternative fuel source, then these stocks could have similar potential to oil and gas companies in their infancy many decades ago. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to receive our future content as it is released. Thanks for watching.